Art Park, and why Bill's safety dammer Hamlin said he returned to Buffalo on Monday with a lot of love on my heart to continue his recovery in a hospital there, a week after going into cardiac arrest and having to be resuscitated on the field during a game in Cincinnati. Hamlin was discharged from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center in the morning and flown to western New York. He was listed in stable condition at Buffalo General Medical Center slash Gates Vascular Institute. I can confirm that he is doing well and this is the beginning of the next stage of his recovery, said Dr. William Knight. Doctors said Hamlin has been walking since having a breathing tube removed on Friday, eating regular food and undergoing therapy. They said he was on a normal or even accelerated trajectory in his recovery from cardiac arrest, which is considered a life-threatening event, and that normal recovery can be measured from weeks to months. But we continue to be ecstatic about his recovery. Hamlin's return comes a day after he cheered on the bills from his hospital bed during their regular season ending 35 minutes 23 win over the New England Patriots. The game proved to be a cathartic outpouring of support for the Bills and Hamlin. I headed home to Buffalo today with a lot of love on my heart. Watching the world come together around me on Sunday was truly an amazing feeling. Hamlin was so excited watching teenage Nyheim Hines return the opening kickoff 96 yards for a touchdown that he jumped up and down but out of his chair set every alarm off in the ICU in the process. Uh, but he was fine. Pritz said it was still premature to comment on the potential cause of Hamlin's cardiac arrest and that more testing would be done. The goal of the transfer is to get him closer to home for further evaluation, recovery, and eventually discharge and rehabilitation. The Bills wore no three Hamlin patches on their jerseys Sunday and honored their teammate by raising three fingers in the closing minutes while tight end Dawson Knox celebrated his touchdown by forming his hands into the shape of a heart. Fans joined in, with many holding up red heart and no three signs. The same love you all have shown me is the same love that I plan to put back into the world and more. Bill's coach, Sean McDermott, and general manager Brandon Bean briefly saw Hamlin after he landed in Buffalo. Eh? McDermott told reporters on a conference call. At the S a little bit tired. The 24-year-old from the Pittsburgh area has made significant progress in his recovery since spending his first two days at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center under sedation and breathing through a ventilator. He was awakened on Wednesday night and was eventually able to grip people's hands. By Friday... Hamlin was able to breathe on his own and even addressed the team by video conference, telling the Bills, love you boys. The last update from doctors came on Saturday, when they described Hamlin's neurological function as excellent, though he remained listed in critical condition. Pritz said doctors were able to upgrade his condition from critical on Monday, clearing the way for the flight home. Though we want to ensure that each organ system is stable to improving and that he needs a minimal amount of assistance such that he does not need intensive nursing. We have some awesome rock star nurses who've been with him from the beginning. A doctor accompanied Hamlin to the airport. Doctors declined to speculate about whether Hamlin would be able to attend the game in person. By beating New England, the Bills, 13 minutes, re-clinched home field advantage through the first two rounds of the playoffs. Buffalo is preparing to host division rival Miami in a wild card playoff matchup on Sunday. Right now it is just a young man recovering from a very serious illness, and we think that he will recover well from this. And Hamlin S. Hart stopped on Monday night after making what appeared to be a routine tackle in the first quarter against the Bengals. The game was initially suspended before officially being cancelled later in the week. News of Hamlin S. discharge from the hospital in Cincinnati was greeted with enthusiasm. Other that is unbelievable. I mean, just think about it, that was one week 
not even a week ago, there s no one in this room that would have expected he d be in Buffalo. The God is great. He works miracles. This is certainly a miracle. There s no question, and just an amazing moment for Dahmer. App NFL HTTPS slash slash of news com slash hub slash NFL at HTTPS slash slash Twitter com slash app NFL 